there's nothing like driving your Jeep with the top down, wind blowing through your hair. But what if you don't have a soft top? Well, today, we're gonna show you how to install the Trek Top by Best Top. The Trek Top can be ran in four different configurations. Fully enclosed for all weather driving, with the enhanced Sunrider open so both front and rear seat occupants get that open air feeling, you can run it with the quarter windows and rear window removed for a safari style bikini, or you can run it fully open for that top down experience. So we're gonna start with the upper rear door rail and the lower rear door rail. We'll flip it over. We wanna grab these U-clips and have the threaded portion facing up. We'll snap it right into place on that upper rear door rail. We take that lower rail and pop it right into place. This is a four millimeter hex key. And we're just gonna screw it together. And then we're gonna grab these two trim plates. And that one goes in the bottom. This one right up at the top. And these are the little screws to hold it together. Takes a T8 bit. Let's open the rear door. Then we can set that newly assembled rear rail in place. We're going to take these long screws and they take a T40 Torx bit. This shorter screw with the yellow Loctite drops down on the back side of the lower rail. And then we can tighten everything up. Take the front upper rail and slide it in. Now the upper rail should be nice and even all along here. As you can see, we've got a little bit of a gap between the two of them on this one. You can come down below and we can loosen up the hinge screws. There's two here and then there's two here. They take a four millimeter hex key. And now we can adjust it a little bit. Sometimes you have to also adjust the ones on the back rail. Now moving to the back of the sport cage, we can grab this center section right here and pop it out. We're gonna grab our sport bar mounting bracket. And you see it has these two pins and they're gonna slide right into those holes. Then we have these screws with the big washers. And we're just gonna run those in. And they take a T40 Torx bit. Now we'll grab our tailgate bar corner moldings. And they take this big screw that uses a T50 Torx bit. We have our lift assist for the left and right side. And then you want to grab these four T6 by 20 mil long screws, the flange nuts, and a T30 Torx bit. The instruction says T25, but the T30 is what fits. Now on the back of the lift assist is this pin and we want to hook it 
into this slot here. And we take our bolt and go through this upper hole. And the second screw goes down here underneath this yellow handle. And don't forget your lift assist tie down strap. We can grab our yellow locking handle and lift that up and then fold the lift assist back and then just secure with the tie down straps. Grab the lift assembly. This is our 59503. This is for the left side. So we want to open it all the way up. The bow brackets go to the inside of the Jeep. And on the outside, we have this roller right here. And that's gonna slide right into this channel. Pull our tie strap off. And we can return that up to the lock position. Now you'll wanna grab this shoulder bolt the thick bushing and the thin bushing and a 10 mil socket. We're gonna to go to the last hole on our side bow assembly. Take the thin bushing and that goes on the inside. The thick bushing goes on the outside. There we go. Now we can slide our shoulder bolt through. And then we can screw into the threaded nut on the lift assist assembly. And we take our rear rail cover plate and that pops right in here at the back of the rail. And run our screws in. And then it takes a number four hex key. Set your bows out and look at the part numbers. 583.03, this is bow number four. Point zero 0.01 is bow number three. And 0.99 is bow number two. Let's grab our number four bow and four of the mounting screws and a T30 Torx bit. The number four bow comes into the back of the rearmost flange. The number three bow goes in front of the bracket. And our number two bow also mounts to the front side of the bow brackets. These are the quarter window stiffener clips. And on the quarter rail stiffeners, you'll see these three holes. I'll set the stiffener clip in. So we're gonna take the screw, we're gonna slide it in from underneath. And then the flat washer and then finish it off with a nylock. We'll take a T25 bit and an eight millimeter speed wrench or a socket. Now, as you go to put these stiffener clips in, make sure that you have the right hand side this one here actually says little tiny RH. And 
we can look on the stiffener rail and here our H. Now we can move on to our top assembly. Unrack our hooks. Now on the top assembly, we want to grab a T15 and we're going to remove these two little screws here. Now grab your full upper fabric section. Set the front bow down right at the windshield. And then very carefully grab our fabric and set it down over the windshield onto the hood. Now peel your fabric forward and we're going to screw down into these holes. You need to move the front deck forward, lift up on your side rail assembly. We don't want to tighten them down yet. We just want to get a couple threads down in and repeat on the other side. And then we have these foam strips that go right over the top of those screws. Before we try to put that down though, let's use a little alcohol to clean the metal and the plastic. Then we're gonna grab a heat gun and just warm things up a little bit. And we'll peel our backing off the foam. And let's just heat that adhesive up just a little bit. You'll find that little bit of heat will really help this foam stick. With the top still up, you can grab the number five bow and set it right back on the bracket on the lift assist. Then right on the corner of the top, you'll find this tab with this hole. You grab a plastic push pin, slide that in, then we're gonna push it down to this hole here on the lift assist bracket. Then you have this outer flap, and you, have, you can see a little tiny hole there. You need to wrap around and it's gonna go right into this hole on the number five bow. Now up at this corner, we're gonna reach into this side pocket and hey, grab that little bit of cable sticking out. And then you're gonna grab this barrel and screw assembly and this should be the last hardware you have. We're gonna insert the barrel in. I'm gonna put just a dab of super glue inside the threads, just to act as a thread locker. We'll slide this ring over the top. And then run this screw in. Now we can grab our top, fold it down, and release the locking mechanism on both sides, and lower the whole top to the back. All right, now with the top folded all the way down, we wanna reach up in here and tighten up those two screws that hold the lift assembly to the sport bar. 
Now be careful not to over tighten. We only want to go to seven foot pounds of torque on those nuts. Yes, it's one of our old time mechanics that had this old torque wrench that goes down to seven foot pounds. Now we want to slide our top back up. And then let's close it. Pull it down and latch it. Now we can get, get inside, start at the number four bow and wrap the hook and loop enclosure around the bow. Now let's move up to the number three bow. And then up to the number two bow. So now we're up to the quarter windows. Remember that hook that we bolted in earlier? We're gonna go right up here to this little bar and we wanna to stay to the outside of this spacer block. We're gonna hook in there. And then down at the bottom, we wanna line that corner up and then take this strap with the snap and snap it in place. I'm gonna tuck this up inside. And you see this plastic edge here? We want to slide it right into this slot. So you're going to grab it and just start at the top and just work your way down. And then we have one of those edges here too. We're going to hook right under this rail. So it's easiest just to start the first couple inches and then just work your way along. We're gonna grab our back window. And if you look this top beaded edge, we've got this nice little point. We're gonna come right up here and slide it in the back window channel. Then take our back window bar and then have this groove to the outside. And there's another beaded edge at the bottom of the window. And we can just slide it right along. Now this edge here is gonna roll down into the pocket on both sides. So you can grab it, twist, and snaps right into place. On the rear window, we have this plastic strip, just like on the quarter windows. We're gonna hook that in to the back of the quarter windows. Pull tight over. Now this is a brand new top, so it's gonna be very tight. It's best to do it when it's warm or even hot. Of course, we're here in the cold, rainy Pacific Northwest, so all we can do is crank the heat in the studio, and she goes in. All right, now to finish up the back window, you have these short little tabs here. We can roll them under the back rail and get a good push. And we'll do the same on the other side. Now we can go along the top, roll the fabric down, and start connecting all the Velcro. Now one of the best things you could do for your best top trek top is to get it out into the sun. That fabric will heat up and stretch You'll be able to work out any wrinkles and it'll allow you to open and close the top much easier. And speaking of easy, if you can, get your top out in the sun before you even install it. Now at the beginning of the video, we talked about the four different configurations you can run this top. The fully enclosed soft top, the open enhanced sun rider, the safari style bikini, or the full open top. So we wanna know. If you were to win this giveaway Wrangler, how would you run the top? 
leave that in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, check the description box for links to where you can pick up a best hop trek top for your Jeep. And also you'll find a link to where you can enter to win this 2021 Hella Yella Wrangler JL. Thanks for watching our video. We'll see you in the next one.